President, please be seated. The court is back in session. And again, the floor is given to the co-prosecutors to continue putting questions to the witness. You may proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. I only have a few more questions before I turn the microphone over to my national colleague. Uh, Mr. Witness, as far as you know, had the Cham women and children that were arrested and, and taken to uh, Wat Otrakon Pagoda, had they done anything to, uh, to warrant their arrest? Is there any reason that they were arrested? President uh, Witness, please hold on, and Councilor Copper, do you have the floor? Um, I object also to this question, Mr. President, as beyond the realm of knowledge of this um, witness. He had no participation in any of the security forces or in um, any um, office within the security. Uh, if I see people being arrested in the morning, uh, I also would know uh, without any insider knowledge of why people are arrested. So um, it's simply beyond his knowledge. That's why I object. Uh, Mr. President, if I could respond, I clearly limited uh, the question to his knowledge, um, and he's entitled to respond as regards his knowledge. Um, if he has any information, we can further explore, or Defense Council can further explore where that information comes from. But he's certainly entitled to provide evidence or knowledge that he has regarding why the Cham might might have been arrested. The objection by the Defense Council is overruled, and uh, Mr. Witness, please respond to the last question put to you by the Deputy Co-Prosecutor. Mr. Uh, Prosecutor, please uh, repeat uh, the last question. Thank you. As far as you know, was there any reason that the Cham were arrested in your village by the security forces? Uh, I myself was not aware on the arrest of the Cham people. Uh, how it and the Cham people who were arrested were innocent Cham people. They did not do anything wrong, and they strived to work very hard. During the Khmer Rouge period, did you see any arrests of persons uh, that were not Cham in your village? No, I did not see that. No, uh, Mr. Witness, I'd like to uh, get your explanation of a comment you made in your written record of interview uh, to further understand why you made that comment. And this is at E3 slash 5301, uh, English ERN 00210483, Kamai ERN 0063516969. French ERN 006. Two two four zero zero, uh, and this is what you said. You said, "quote I don't know why the Cham were gathered and taken to to Otrakon. I know that in 1977 there was intensive killing. I believe they did not want ethnic Cham to live in this village or in Cambodia." Can you explain to the court why you made that statement and what you meant by it? Uh, 
I made uh, that statement that in 1977 the killing became uh, widespread because other people said in the areas that they lived in, that the Khmer Rouge hurt uh, the Jan people on a massive scale. In addition, in my uh, commune, new people came to settle from Phnom Penh, and there were about uh, 10 families. And later on, they disappeared and never returned. As, uh, and that happened in 1977 when uh, they were told to work elsewhere and they never returned. So it was my conclusion that there was a purge going on in 1977. And why did you say, quote, I believe they did not want ethnic Cham to live in this village or in Cambodia, close quote. During the uh, Pol Pot regime, which was led by uh, the Khmer Rouge group, they only wanted to have one pure race. They even killed their own Khmer people, so they would not uh, spare any other ethnicity, including uh, the Cham race. Thank you. I have uh, one final question, um, and it's related to something that you said earlier. Um, you mentioned that uh, uh, shortly after the arrival of the Khmer Rouge and Angkor Ban commune, the Cham were transferred out of Angkor Ban one and three villages. Can you give us an approximate number of months after the arrival of the Khmer Rouge that the Cham were transferred out of those two villages? I cannot say for uh, how many months, but uh, I knew that in the early months uh, when the Khmer Rouge did not come to take a charge yet, there were Cham people living in Nankoban 1 and 3 villages. And during the period of the Democratic Kampuchea, Cham people were no longer allowed to live in villages 1 and 3 respectively, and they had been evacuated elsewhere during that uh, regime. Thank you, Mr. Witness. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. I have no further questions. I'd like to turn the microphone over to my national colleague. National Deputy Co-Prosecutor, good afternoon, Mr. President, Your Honours, and good afternoon, everyone in and around the courtroom, and good afternoon, Mr. Witness. My name is Seng Liung. I am a National Deputy Co-Prosecutor. I have uh, some questions uh, to put to you. And before I uh, go into the uh, topic, of interest, I'd like to uh, ask for some clarifications in your responses to uh, my international counterpart. You were asked by my uh, colleague. En effet, mon confrère vous a demandé. And uh, it refers to uh, your previous statement that is uh, E3 slash 5301. E and income is uh, 006368. In English, uh, 00210483. And in French, 00. The speaker speaks uh, too fast. Please slow down. E and in Ian in French is a zero zero six two two four zero zero. In uh, that uh, document, 
dans ce document, you said that the uh, Khmerus didn't want the Cham ethnicity to live in the village or in Cambodia. And you continue saying that the Cham people who were arrested from my village did not make any mistake. They worked hard day and night. And uh, to my understanding, that they were arrested purely because they were Cham people. And my question to you is that how you came to uh, make that conclusion? And so I uh, reached that conclusion. Réponse. President, uh, Mr. Witness, please hold on, and Council Consum On, uh, please uh, take the floor. Consum On, thank you, Mr. President. I'd like to object to this question. And in fact, this is a, a reconfirmation through the uh, confirmation that was already made. The witness already stated that uh, that statement was his personal uh, conclusion and that would not help in ascertaining the truth. And the witness is not an expert in this field. For that reason, I object to this question seeking for reconfirmation of the previous statement. Prosecutor. Mr. President, allow me to respond. Uh, what I just quoted is uh, the statement made by this very witness, and for that reason, I lie to uh, seek for his uh, reason that led him to reach uh, that uh, conclusion. President, Mr. Uh, witness, you are not instructed not to respond to this question. And President, Deputy Co-Prosecutor, you already uh, know that it is a standing déjà, proceeding that you should not seek a uh, to 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 seek assumption or presumption to made by the witness. Prosecutor, thank you, Mr. President. I now, I now move on to the topic of the administrative structure. And Mr. Witness, do you know who was the secretary of a Kong district at the time? That is, uh, when the country was under the control of the Khmer Rouge. And so, uh, to my knowledge, Réponse under the Khmer Rouge regime, le Khmer uh, Rouge, the district uh, chief le was Khan. He was sent from the southwest uh, to become a, a district uh, chief in my area. District. Question. You said uh, Khan was uh, reassigned from uh, the southwest zone. And when did that happen? When did he become the Kongmir district chief? chief? Answer as to which year, I am not sure. I uh, know that Khan came to chair meetings in Koban village, and he said that he was the district chief and that he was uh, assigned from the southwest zone. And he came to chair the meeting in 1977. Question. So you are not sure as to when he arrived in your area? Donc vous ne savez pas exactement à quel moment il est arrivé. Answer yes, uh, that is correct. I am just uh, an ordinary villager, and I did not know the precise time. Question. Question. And do you know who was uh, in charge of uh, security at uh, Wat O Trapun? Answer yes, I do. It was Horn who was in charge of the security in Otrakun, Pagoda, or Wat Otrakun. Question, and where did the Horn uh, come from? Answer. 
I knew through Khan, the district chief, who actually was accompanied by Ho, and he made the announcement to the people that Ho also came from the uh, southwest uh, together with him. Question. Question. So, according to what you know, Donc, uh, à votre Khan, Khan said that the uh, Hon came along with him, but you're not sure as to uh, when. Am I correct? And uh, I do not know as to which year uh, they came. Question. Question. Can you tell the court vous dire à la chambre when, uh, upon the arrival of Khan and Horn, was it uh, à de Khan at the Horn, time that the 15 Chan people were detained? Est-ce que c'était au même moment que l'arrestation des 15 Chan? The rest of the Chan, or the 15 Chan people, uh, took place sous- under the reign of Khan and Horn. L'arrestation des 15 personnes Cham a eu lieu sous le règne de Khan et Hom. Question. Question. Do you know about some other events, for example, on the, uh, on the replacement of the East cadres uh, by the Southwest cadres? Le remplacement des cadres de la zone Est par les cadres de la zone Sud-Est? Answer, no, I Réponse, don't. Non. President. President. Defense Counsel for Nunchia, uh, Counsel Copper, do you have the floor? Maître Copper, vous avez uh, No objection, uh, Mr. President, but I, I, in my translation I heard a question uh, replacement of East Zone Congress. <laughs> I think we are in Sector 41 in the Northern Zone, Or Central Zone. Zone North, Sector 41. Uh, uh, prosecutor, uh, Mr. President, I apologize. Maybe Monsieur I made a mistake. I uh, mean the central zone. Je voulais bel et bien dire zone centrale. Question. And were you aware of any uh, relationship between Khan and Horn? Did you know about uh, the way? Uh, they communicated de la façon dont communiquaient Khan et Hon, des relations que ces deux personnes and, uh, avaient. Uh, what I know was that Khan was the district chief était le chef de district and Hon was Hon in charge of the district security and he uh, bears a right in the uh, what uh, Kun. Question and when did you come to know about uh, Otrakun Pagoda? Question et quand avez-vous appris l'existence Answer. de la pagode Otrakun? I know the pagoda very clearly. Réponse: Je connaissais bien la pagode. not far from my uh, village and since when I was young, usually my family would go to jeune, attend the religious ceremonies in that pagoda. Dans cette pagode aux cérémonies religieuses. <coughs> Question. You mean that before you were instructed to uh, take the jam people to Otokun Pagoda, were you aware that the uh, pagoda was transformed into a security center? Saviez-vous que cette pagode avait été transformée en centre de sécurité? Answer. Réponse. I knew because when I was assigned to transport them, I knew that uh, those people were being taken to that security center. Aller au centre de sécurité. Question. So, you had known Question. about uh, the pagoda transformed into the security center before you were instructed to uh, take those people to? De recevoir l'instruction d'y amener ces personnes. Answer. 
Otakon Pagoda had been transformed into the security center right after the Khmerus took charge in the area. And it does not mean that I only knew when I took those jam people there. I had known about this uh, much donc, earlier. Ça veut donc dire Mr. Pres Mr. President, uh, in, the, in the interest of time, I'd like to cede the floor to the lead co-lawyers for civil parties to put questions to this uh, witness. President, the floor is now given to the lead co-lawyers for civil parties uh, to put questions to this witness. You may proceed. Big Hong, good afternoon, Mr. President. Uh, I'd like to seek your permission to assign uh, Hong Kong Soon, lawyer for civil parties, to put questions to this witness. President, yes, uh, you may proceed. And Hong Kong Soon, you have the floor. Hong Kong Soon, thank you, Mr. President. And good afternoon, Mr. President, your honors, and everyone. Good afternoon, Mr. Uh, witness. My name is uh, Hong Kong Soon. I'm from the Cambodia Defense uh, for <coughs> Project. And I have some questions for you today. You already responded to many questions uh, by the co-prosecutors, and I have some supplementary questions uh, to put to you. You already spoke at length about uh, the uh, relationship between the Khmer people and the Cham people, and that you said you live in the Ankoban village, in Ankoban commune, for almost uh, the entire life. And the Cham people were living in the adjacent villages, that is Ankoban 1 and Ankoban 3. So does it mean that you, uh, you lived in Ankoban 2, right? Answer. In the Ankoban commune, there were nine villages, namely Ankoban 1, 2, 3, up to Ankoban 9. And Ankoban 2 is my home village, and it's the village that I have lived. And I'm still living in this village. Question And how many uh, Khmer villages in the Ankoban commune? Answer in the Ankoban commune. Réponse. As I said, the there are Kampan, nine villages. Dit, and in Ankoban 1 and 3, Ankoban one the trois, majority of people living there are Cham, but there was a small number of the uh, Khmer families. And at the moment, at the present time, Half of the people living in these two villages are Khmer and half are Cham. Question. question. Uh, my question is about uh, the uh, time ma question porte before sur la the uh, Khmer Rouge regime. Le regime des Khmer Rouge. And then it went through the period of uh, 1975 uh, and later on through another period of 1979. And through all these stages, uh, did any of the village names uh, change? Answer. In village Ankoban 1, it actually was called Antung So. And uh, under the Khmer Rouge regime, it was referred to as uh, Unit 1. Rouge, so Unit 1 referred to Village 1. Unité au village Question. I'd like question. to put some questions to you in relation to the uh, relationship between the Cham people. And you said that you were not uh, that close uh, to the Cham community. 
And you said there was a common road in uh, the village that was used by both the Cham and the Khmer people. And my question to you is about the period uh, before the arrival of the Khmer Rouge to control your area. Do you know how many Cham people were living in Ban commune before the Khmer Rouge regime? Answer. It is uh, only my estimate. Yes, uh, at the time, I did not know uh, for certain as to the total uh, number of people. In particular, in the, the uh, two respective villages. So for that reason, I rather not to give you uh, my rough estimate. C'est pourquoi je ne peux vous donner qu'une estimation approximative. Question, let me uh, put you in a different way. Question, Because you live adjacent to uh, the Cham villages, although you do not know the precise number, can you tell me at least about the majority of the people living in your adjacent villages? Were they Cham or Khmer? Si la majorité des gens qui vivaient dans And les villages uh, adjacents étaient des Cham ou des Khmer. Uh, allow me to give you uh, a, a comparison. Je vais vous donner in terms of the Cham people living in the uh, villages at present, and I uh, I like to tell you that uh, at the moment I am the commune chief. And the total number of the Cham people now, but not much, uh, was not uh, much different from the Cham living in the previous regime. And currently, there are about 400 Cham families living in my commune. Question: You cannot give us an estimate of the total population living in your uh, commune. And what about for the specific period uh, de la that is after the 6th January 1979, Après le 6 janvier 1979. that is for the first year of uh, 19, uh, in 1979, can you tell the court how many Cham people lived in that commune? After the uh, Pol Pot regime was uh, toppled in 1979, in Angkor Ban villages 1 and 3, no Cham people uh, came to live yet. There were no Cham people at all. Question. So you said that uh, successively the Cham people keep coming to live in the two villages, am I correct? Allow me to ask you again, since there is no uh, response. La à nouveau, vu que vous pas so the uh, Cham people who Les came Cham. to live in the area, were they new so Cham from other areas, or were they uh, the Cham who lived there in the previous the regime? Des Cham qui ne vivaient pas là avant, ou des Cham qui habitaient sous l'ancien régime? Answer uh, through my observation, the Cham people who came to live in the Corban commune and who are still living at present, Corban, qui vivent actuellement, they actually came in around uh, uh, 1982 and 1983, and from my questions to them, they came from various provinces, including Bosnat and Batambol. Question. Now I'm moving through the treatment of Cham people. I have follow-up question continuing from those of co-prosecutor. You made mention that you were eating meal when Khmer Rouge soldier came to arrest Cham people. I would like you to tell the court if uh, Cham people uh, were separated to each si in a separate group at that time? Answer, Réponse. during the Khmer Rouge uh, period, Rouge. we had a communal eating within uh, the same hall. Nous tous dans le même 
question. Yes, Can you tell the court whether there were distinct meals of food for Cham people? Answer. During meal time, we had the same food or meal to eat. For instance, if we were given a dish to eat, and then the jam people would receive the same thing. Counsel, thank you. In relation to meal or food, you told the court already that jam people did not eat pork. So during meal time, were Cham people forced to eat pork? Question. Do you know the reason why the Cham people forced to eat pork? the Cham people forced to eat pork? Jam people had to eat pork. However, as I told you already, we had the same meal on the table. Question. Did you notice what happened to Jam people if they did not agree to eat pork? Did Jam people tortured if they did not eat pork? President, it is a conditional question. So uh, this kind of question is prohibited by the chamber uh, lawyer. Thank you, Mr. President. I would like to Monsieur rephrase uh, my question. Merci, le Président. Je vais During the meal time uh, within that hall, were jam people forced to eat pork? Answer. Regarding food or dishes, I did not know exactly at that time. I was sometimes ploughing uh, the field, and I left for work uh, in the morning, and I returned back to my home at, in the evening. So I uh, really congregated with a jam people and when it's come, when it came to meal time we had the same dishes or meal to eat whether jam people at pork or not I have no idea I did not pay attention to that matter counsel thank you now I want to ask you about the arrest of jam people in 1977 when you were eating meal before the arrest. Were meetings held among your villagers to informed about the arrest? Or were you convinced to secret meetings and uh, informed about the transportation of young people? Answer. I was not part of uh, the group who was in charge of tr transporting uh, the jam people. I was not a regular member within that transportation group. No, we were not uh, informed in advance uh, before we were assigned uh, to uh, transport jam people. So while we were eating meals, uh, the security forces came and then the arrests uh, were made. Council, thank you. You made a mention that uh, mostly um, women and children were arrested. Did the security force come and arrest uh, those uh, women and children right away without asking uh, names first? Answer. Regarding this matter, I uh, 
do not have a clear, clear knowledge. At that time, while I was uh, eating meal, the arrests were made. Runda was a local person Runde within the village, so he knew very well who were Jam people. Perhaps at that time, Run himself made the arrest of Jam people. I did not. Uh, uh, see Ron order Mais anyone to point out uh, who were jams or who were not jams. I was uh, very uh, afraid Moi, of uh, the situation at that time. Council uh, were jam um, uh, m offended at that time. But answer. During uh, the time after Jam people uh, had been arrested, the chief of village scolded the Jam people that uh, they betrayed the Anka. That is why the, there was purges. There were purges against them. Council. So how did they arrest the Jam people? Were Jam people? Were Jam people's hand tied at the time? Council, Mr. President, it is a repeated question. Lawyer, regarding the regarding the fact that uh, whether Jam's uh, people hands were tied or not, I have not put any questions in relation to uh, that incident yet. President, the objection by the council for the for the accused is overruled. Mr. Winner, you are instructed to respond to the question. Witness. Their hands were tied to a nylon string to behind their backs, and uh, they were not blind or folded. Counsel, a while ago I asked if... Uh, Jam people were offended, and now could you tell the court whether Jam people were uh, bitten and kicked? Answer. After they, their hands were tied up, no, no bitting, no kicking. However, they were all uh, pushed or thrown onto the ox cart. Children, small children, were thrown onto the ox cart, and for older young people, they were pushed onto the ox cart. Council, you made mention that uh, there were four or five ox carts uh, transporting young people to the district security center during the trip. Were jam people prohibited prohibited from uh, crying, from talking to one another at the time? Answer. I did not hear unit chief or security force prohibit jam people from crying or from talking to one another. However, during the trip, jam people uh, were sitting uh, very quietly. Council. So when uh, you reach uh, the gate of the pagoda, so how did uh, jam people leave uh, the outskirts? So what happened then? Answer. Elderly, I mean, elder jam people uh, got off uh, the outskirts uh, by themselves. And as for children, small children, uh, we, the drivers of the ox cart, held the children uh, out of the ox cart. And sometimes we even uh, carried uh, the children off the ox cart. So I would like to know the uh, one who received uh, the jam people, was he a civilian or a soldier as the council? 
answer. The one who received the Cham people was not known uh, by me. Je I did not uh, see personne. his face because during the time visage. it was uh, so Car dark. Ap uh, but we were told that after we drop off uh, Cham people, we could uh, go back Et home. Question. You made mention about husbands who were who had transferred elsewhere to other places. De, Did you ever see those de, husbands de return to villages? Allez, dans les Answer Réponse. regarding the husbands, I oui, have maris. never seen them back. And uh, even today, I uh, have not seen him, seen them, rather. Council. Question. You have told the president and the chamber about the an intensive purge just in 1977. A while ago, you stated about the purges. I have a question for you. Did you ever witness corpses lying close to your village? Answer. Regarding corpses, they died, I noticed that uh, people died and corpses uh, were floating in the river during the flooding season. I heard uh, from uh, others that uh, there were killings at uh, different places. Lawyer, thank you. You stated that the uh, Cham people did not commit any mistakes uh, when they were arrested. What about Khmer people? Were they taken away and killed? Answer. Réponse. There were new people evacuated from Phnom Penh and they were deposited to live in the my village. And these new people disappeared uh, from time to time and uh, no more new people from Phnom Penh in my village. And I uh, think perhaps uh, they had been taken away and killed. Council, did they make any mistakes? That is why they had been arrested? Answer. All I know is that uh, new people did not Tout commit any wrongdoings. They were uh, working very hard in the field with a base people. Council, thank you. Place. You made mention of a person by the name Run. Run, as said by you, was a chief. chief. And Horn was a a security uh, center chief at Odokun Pagoda. Beside the two, did you know the names of uh, sector or zone chiefs? Answer. Regarding district chief, his name was Khan. As for sector committees, le, le de secteur, there were Tang and Srein who were part of sector committee. I have never heard I have never known the two uh, guys. However, I heard people say that uh, they were part of a sector committee. Question. You Question. made mention that uh, there were people from, there were cadres from 
south of west zone. So were the two individuals you have just mentioned from south west zone? Venait-il de la zone sud ouest? Answer. Réponse. I heard people say that Tang and Sein were in positions uh, at the same time when Khan uh, was the district chief. Question. Au même moment que Khan, qui était chef de district. Uh, did they came, come from the uh, southwest zone? Du sud -ouest? Or did they come before the uh, southwest zone uh, cat race came? Answer. They uh, were together with Khan during the meeting avec Khan dans une council. Do you know Question. the district, uh, the sector numbers? Uh, what number was assigned, was designated to that sector in your area? Answer. I do not know uh, which, uh, what number was designated to the sector council. Did the sector have Question. a name or have any designated number? Answer. I have no knowledge of uh, the designated number or name of uh, that sector. Lawyer, thank you, because uh, you were living in Uncle Ban and you have been Vivier living there Uncle until Ban now. Have you ever uh, visited uh, the security center uh, at Autocon Pagoda? Answer. Réponse. After 1979, I did not uh, visit or enter the, the Autocon Security Center. Question. Did Question. you join uh, the group who are searching for the survivor uh, from Otrakun Pagoda? Vous êtes -vous joint au groupe qui est à la Answer. Des, des du I de attended a meeting immediately after Pol Pot regime was toppled. The, there were there, there were meetings after the regime held by the district uh, committee, committee district. and uh, we heard in the meeting that uh, about uh, 30,000 uh, people were killed uh, by Pol Pot in the security tuer. center at Otokuna Pagoda, and we learned this number in the meetings. Question, did you chiffre. witness Question. the remaining, uh, the, uh, the scalps or Avez bones uh, at Otokuna Security des Center? Des Answer. Yes, I did I used to Réponse. see uh, oui. the scalps and bones remaining oui. from the regime. Les now ossements. there is a stupa and bones and scalps were collected Et and placed inside the stupa and there were there are ceremonies are held annually Et for the deceased. Question, did you know whether there were other security centers uh, used si by Khmeru at the time and People were killed at those centers. Answer, I have no idea, Mr. Lawyer. Lawyer, thank you, Mr. President. I am done with my line, with my questioning. Thank you very much, Mr. Witness. President. Thank you. So we finished. Uh, early this afternoon compared uh, to the morning sessions and we may take the break now but first you have the floor now Corporal. Um, thank you mr president just to inform you that we don't have any questions um, i don't know how the question fountain has questions if they have only 10 minutes or 15 minutes we could finish today just a suggestion 
si cela ne leur prendra que 10 à 15 minutes, on pourrait le faire aujourd'hui. Thank you very much for the information. You have the floor now, counsel, for Mr. Q. Sompon. And can you tell the chamber how much time you will need for questioning this witness? If you need very little time, we may continue. And we uh, if you need much time, you make a uh, start tomorrow. Je suis désolé de décevoir mon confrère Maître Copé, mais j'aurais besoin de plus de temps que 10 minutes. You can start uh, the questioning now if you need only uh, 10 or 15 minutes because uh, we may uh, allow the witness to return to his residence afterwards. President, so how much time you need, counsel? It is now uh, 7 to 4. Il est 16h moins 7. Je pense qu'il y a eu un problème de traduction. Je disais que j'allais avoir besoin de plus de 10 minutes. Donc il n'est pas possible de commencer et de terminer l'interrogatoire de ce témoin aujourd'hui, ah, Monsieur le Président. Donc, je pense que si vous voulez marquer la pause maintenant, euh, voilà, en, à, à peu près, j'en sais rien, peut-être trois quarts d'heure. Ça dépendra des, des, des réponses de, 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 de Monsieur le témoin. Mais en tout cas, ce sera plus que jusqu'à la pause. Beaucoup plus. Président. Uh, Mr. Kuei, uh, do you have something uh, you want to say? Witness. Thank you, Mr. President, your honors. Could you tell me? How much time I will have to spend uh, before the chamber? So could you uh, finish uh, the hearing of my testimony uh, by tomorrow? Because I have uh, been away from my house for three days and I am a community. I have something to do. President. We are trying to conclude the hearing your testimony. However, more than 10 minutes, uh, it's uh, more than 10 minutes um, cannot be used uh, during this time. So I believe tomorrow we will not spend much time to hear you as a witness. It is now time for the adjournment. The chamber will adjourn now and we will resume our hearing tomorrow, 10 September 2015 at 9 a.m. Tomorrow, the chamber will continue Demain. to hear witness saying Kuwe. Please be informed and please uh, be here on time. Thank you, Mr. Saint Kuwe. The hearing of your testimony as a witness has not uh, come to an end yet. You are therefore invited to be here again tomorrow at 9 a.m. Court officer, in collaboration with the West Sous. Please send uh, Mr. Kuei back to the place where he is staying at the moment and please invite him back into the courtroom at 9 a.m. Security personnel are instructed to bring Mr. Kizimpon and Nunchia back to the deten detention facility of the ECCC and have them returned uh, tomorrow before 9 a.m. The court is now adjourned.